Hi, it is me again, your favorite YouTuber, and I am back once again with some of my yard sale hauls. Um, this is not the Goodwill Dollar Day haul. This is, um, I did get to go to some yard sales. If you want to hang around until the end, I'm going to talk a little bit about how my sales have been. This video is being recorded at the end last week of August. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit at the end about my business model, how business is going and all that good stuff, yard sales. But for now, we're going to just jump right into it. Um, I went to about seven yard sales today. Most of them were garbage. Thankfully, at the very first one, that's where I got the majority of what I'm going to show you. And then I also went to a church thrift store that in the past has been my honey hole. And unfortunately, I have been noticing that the last few times I went there, it's just not doing what it used to do. So I'm guessing that people know about this place now. It does look like there's more people there, but I enjoyed it while it lasted. All good things must come to an end. Um, I definitely did capitalize upon the stuff they had in the beginning because I got like a ton of stuff with, with tags. So I think that uh, my run is over. So everything I'm going to show you here, I got tw at the first yard sale, I got 23 items. All the clothes were priced at $1 and I did get, get a pair of boots that I'm going to show you at the end. If you have watched any of my past videos, you know that I do primarily bread and butter items uh, where I live and with my availability to go out hunting, I guess. I'm, I'm not a full-time reseller. Um, I have to take what I can get, okay? When life hands you lemons, you got to make some lemonade with it, and that's what I'm doing. So pretty much everything is like Nate, is um, like bread and butter items. But I make money doing it. If I wasn't making money, I wouldn't have been doing this for 15 years, okay? So this was all from the first yard sale. Here we have a denim black and this is an older label Gap item, Gap dress. She does have the tags attached. Another important thing to note, if you have watched my videos in the past, and you will know a lot of these items that have tags on them, I would not have purchased if they didn't have tags on them. A brand new tag makes a huge difference for me in, a, in many, many cases. Um, and so this is one of those items. She's a basic, real basic black denim dress it does look like an older gap label she's a size four which is working against her i try to stay away from small sizes but this is a 15 dollar item another thing to know everything that i'm going to show you here i paid probably a dollar or two for and majority of what i'm going to show you i will be selling for in between the range of 15 to 25 dollars if something goes for more than that i'll let you know this one, this one was just different. I have sold this brand in the past. She's called Fashion to Figure. She's a size two. I immediately thought of Christmas when I saw this, but it, it's also, this is like a plus size brand. Not a huge name brand. She is a romper. She's tart and plaid or romper jumper, whatever you want to call it. And you see the zippers here. So I'm definitely getting a, and then it has zippers at the bottom. I haven't sold this brand in a while. But um, the quality feels pretty good. Why did I get her? Um, you're probably wondering. Well, number one, she is a plus size. So that is automatically a, a good thing. Um, we're coming near Christmas. I could, if I put this in the title, I would write something like Christmas jumper. Because it is that plaid. I don't know if it's tartan plaid, but it is that plaid look. Why else did I get this? Because it's different. To me, I don't see stuff like this when I'm thrifting very often. Um, this is, to me, this is very unusual. I'm also getting a, a very much a goth vibe. So that is something that I would put in the, in the title description at when I'm posting this. I'm going to probably write Christmas. I'm going to probably use the keyword goth, um, and things of that nature. When I first saw the print and the style, it definitely was giving torrid vibes. And so when I saw the label, I was like, oh, that's not torrid. Okay, but speaking of Torrid, I did get this. I only got her because she's a size four and we love the larger sizes in Torrid. She's just a sheer, a sheer basic blouse and I'll probably get about 12, 12 to 15 for her. This is, um, I feel like I showed you, I feel like I just had one of these in a haul recently. 
This is Gloria Vanderbilt all around slimming effect. And she's what she has going for her. Obviously, she has the tags. I paid a dollar for this. She has the tag. She is a plus size, um, a 24. She's a crop capri type thingy. Pretty basic, pretty plain. I'm pretty sure I showed you all a pair of these in a previous video recently. And I'm also pretty sure that when I was, because I, I listed that other pair, I'm pretty sure that when I was comping that out, um, that they were going for a pretty decent price. The ones that I have listed that I just posted recently, they're darker blue and they're a smaller size. They're like a six or eight. And I did post them up there for $20. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking 20 for that. Oh, this was just something that I got for myself. So disregard, I did not get 24 items. I got 22 items. If you take out this like, workout <laughs> um i like to okay a secret between us don't tell anybody but um i have this habit where i buy like workout clothes and i never wear them because i never work out so this is just something that i'm going to add to my collection of cute workout stuff that i'm probably never going to wear because i'm probably never going to work out i'm lying i do a little yoga here and there once in the blue moon i'm sorry two or three times a week i do a little yoga here in the house um got these these are Spanx. i did not comp these out i really don't know what i was thinking they're an extra large. oh i know what i was thinking they're an extra large petite they are just a basic black pair of pants i guess they're like i guess you could wear these for business or to work their pull on style. Um, I did get these because I figured that if they didn't sell, I don't know much about Spanx. Um, I know the brand. I haven't, I haven't sold like any clothing items from Spanx. They do look to be in pristine condition. They're pretty heavy. They're like a heavy knit. We are coming into fall. People are going to be looking for pants. Um, and if they don't, I'm going to try them on first. I think I'm a large petite, but this is an extra large petite so if they if i if i can't fit them then it's something that i would just um and i'm lying because the more i'm going through this i kind of got these for myself so i said i paid 25 dollars at that yard sale there was one pair of boots that were two dollars that means that i got 23 items altogether. and of those 23 items i can already see that one two one two three items were just personal use items Okay, so actually I got about 20 items for resale. That's not too great. Okay, I got this for somebody. She's my mother-in-law. She's bedridden. She likes these type of like nightgown thingies. Um, this is just a vintage denim romper. Don't know much about it. Tape measure? Tape measure is the brand. I don't fiddle around too much with vintage items i've gotten a few vintage items in the past i just don't know much about them they sit there forever i know that some people that's their niche they're really good at it and they sell it like hotcakes because they know what to look for um i do like learning new things when it comes to ebay but i'm at a place right now where i'm trying to get rid of things i'm trying to downsize my inventory I just don't want to learn a new niche right now, right? So I, I deal primarily with clothing, 90% clothing. Um, it's what I know. And so if I'm in a time crunch and I need to run inside the store and, and Goodwill or whatever on dollar day and everybody's grabbing stuff all around you, um, I need to stick with what I know. I don't have time to, to comp things out and learn about new, learn about purses or to learn about men's, men's shirts when I don't know much about that and I'm on a time crunch. So th this is just one of those things, but I was at a yard sale today and everybody wasn't clamoring around me. So I did grab this. I didn't comp it out. Um, I, what I do know is that I have sold denim vintage skirt romper whatever is that a dress it's not a romper it's a dress it's a jumper i don't know what the heck it is all i know is that i have sold similar stuff like this in the past and that should definitely go for 15 dollars. it's a size small not not loving size but you know it is what it is these i think are swimsuit cover-ups i didn't comp any none of this stuff that i got today did i comp out i think at this point i just kind of have a feel for some things this is Land's End, size 10, 12. They're pull-on pants. They almost feel like they are swimsuit covers. Tropical print. And we are near the tail end of summer when I am recording this. So am I going to list this now? I don't know. It, I have to see. I have to see. Um, I, I don't know. When you watch this, these might already be listed. And I may already have them under the swimsuit category for swimsuit cover-up. But they have pockets, though. I don't think a swimsuit cover-up would have pockets. 
not sure if you know what these are they're just stretchy they're lands end i don't know how to tell if these are regular pants or or swimsuit type pants but they're cute we'll list those um never heard of this brand before it looks like it's decent because it has like that fabric type tag it's called easel the size is a medium she is a she's a medium her name is easel this is this is super cute though i i love this and i'm pretty short no it is a top it's like a tunic top it's a blouse she kind of like has the crisscross over the bust area she has like the crochet sleeves here she is longer she's gauzy um i don't think it's a great brand but she's definitely unique so I might put the word boho in the title and see how that goes. Not familiar with that brand. This is J. Jill Wherever collection. J. Jill Wherever. And even though we are coming away from dress season, my dress sales do go down in the winter. But she's decent. I, I do okay with J. Jill. She's just a basic dress wherever collection. $15 all day. Not familiar with this brand. Again, I paid a dollar for, yes, I am. I have seen this brand. I'm so confused. Hmm. This might not be the tag that goes with this. I think I got played. I'm not sure. Um, Adi, O-D-D-Y. I got it because she's a large. Um, and if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am a sucker for anything that is like embroidered. If it's embroidered like this, I'm probably going to get it. This is a rough hem. Now, the tag says Adi, O-D-D-Y, but then this tag says Wish. They both say size large, so I'm not. Call me cute top. I don't, this might not be the tag. I don't know. This is more of a sweater type. Whatever the case may be, she's cute. She has the ruffled uh, sleeves here. I'm probably going to put her for 15 or I'll do a little more research and see what's going on here. Soft surroundings. Don't know too. I know that they that soft surroundings has a cult following. I've sold a few soft surrounding pieces. As a matter of fact, I just sold a basic dress recently for about 25 bucks, and that one was an extra large petite. This is a large petite, just a basic denim button up. Um, I don't know if people who love soft surroundings are looking for more of the boho vibe type situation so I don't know if that's going to be a huge sale now this one here y'all I don't know what I was thinking I, I do know what I was thinking now I know you're gonna laugh at me go ahead go laugh if you want to I have not picked up a LuLaRoe piece in quite some time for obvious reasons right <laughs> does anybody pick up LuLaRoe anymore I don't know but it was a dollar hear me out hear me out okay before you start laughing follow me <laughs> Um, she's a medium. She's not an extra small. She's not a small. So the size is okay. You know, we would have much rather have had a three X, but you know, it is what it is. She's follow me, follow along. <laughs> she's a maxi dress, right? And as a matter of fact, like I'm actually really liking this now that I'm putting it up to me and I'm kind of feeling like I want to keep this for myself. She looks super comfortable. Um, so she does have the ruffle hem down here. She is a maxi dress. This is kind of cute. I didn't get it for myself, but the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm feeling like I want to keep this. But I mean, look at her. She does have the tag and she is the CC style dress. I have sold LuLaRoe in the past and I, I sold one dress. It had a novelty print. It was like an equestrian Type situation she was like a 2x or 3x and I sold that for 30 bucks but 99.9% .9 of the time I am passing over LuLaRoe even if it has a tag she has a tropical print though it is summertime I kind of like her I'll take 15 for her and if I can't get 15 I'll keep her for myself don't know much about this but it just kind of seemed like a no-brainer to me I mean you can't go wrong if you're paying a dollar for this stuff right 
wrong. And I'm going to tell you why that's wrong at the end of this video. So if you want to stick around and see how sales are and let's talk about <laughs> some business techniques and some ideas, hang around at the end. And of course, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, why don't you go on ahead and subscribe? It's not going to hurt you. It's free. And I would greatly appreciate it. Um, Gloria Vanderbilt Sport. I'm pretty sure this is like some vintage old stuff. Gloria Vanderbilt Sport. Why did I get her? I mean, she's she's velour. She's a velour jumpsuit. What more can I say? She has the tags on her. She's a great price. Extra large. Come on. Si si size is where it needs to be. So this is actually a two-piece velour sweatsuit set in a peachy color there's the pants um wide leg style i've never seen anything like this uh we're coming into fall people are going to be looking for like sweatsuits i guess um we'll see we'll see how this goes i've never sold anything like that she's super heavy the shipping on this she's she's not gonna fit into a flat rate padded envelope and i use flat rate padded envelopes from USPS very often. What is this? I think that's from my sunglasses. I literally just came in from the yard sale. Um, unless it's yet again one more sign of aging. Who knows anymore? Because every day that I wake up, there's something new that wasn't there the day before. So I'm hoping that that's from the sunglasses. In any event, um, we'll find out on the next video, won't we? Because if it's still there, then <laughs> it's another surprise of aging. So, um, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. This is not going to fit into a padded flat rate envelope. Yeah, so this is going to be heavy to ship. Um, I don't know who's going to be willing to pay that much to ship this. That That's bulky. We shall see. Um, I got this just because I did sell a Torrid. This was a long time ago. She's a size Torrid 3-4. I did sell a Torrid long cardigan. I guess you would call it a duster. Some people call it a duster. I sold one in the past and she sold, she sold for a decent price. And this is like another duster kimono sleeve. Um, it has the right here on the side. It's open. It has like an open back type of situation. Um... Again, I haven't sold one of these in a long time, and I, I brought something similar recently. So I'm going to test these two out, and we'll see how it goes. Now, testing stuff out, you may have heard me say earlier that I don't comp stuff out often. Um, because my business model has been, you know, you pick up something for a buck, and you turn it around for 15 bucks, right? Well, what happened, I said I was going to save this till the end, but <laughs> we're getting near the end. I did pick this up. And again, this is vintage. I don't know much about vintage. She is 100% leather. She's a vintage size 10, which is more of a six today, Cedars brand. She is just a long red leather skirt. And I, I just recently got into this. It does have a little tiny flaw, right? Well, I don't know, I'm gonna have to try to wipe it off. I don't know if that's a spot or if it's like peeling just a little bit at the back. Um, but she is 100% leather, and I did sell a Boston Proper. I don't know if you guys know that brand, Boston Proper. I sold a black leather, 100% leather skirt recently for like 30 bucks. So that, and it, I think it was kind of vintage. So that's why I picked that up. I'll test it out. But you got to be real careful testing things out. Even if you're only paying a dollar for it, within the past few months, I would say like the last three months I have been getting rid of items. I have to say that I have probably gotten rid of, and when I say gotten rid of, I mean donate. I try to donate as much as possible. Um, at least 200 items. At least 200 items, right? So if I'm only paying a dollar each, that's still $200. And it was probably more than that. It's probably closer to $300, right? That's a lot of money. So you have to be super careful, even when you're paying a dollar. If this stuff isn't selling, you're losing money. And I'm, I'm talking to myself as much as I'm talking to you. Victoria's Secret, don't have a lot of luck with her. Victoria's Secret, she's a pink label. She does have the tag. She's a size large. Kind of liking this for myself. And that's kind of why I got it, because I'm probably going to end up keeping this for myself. If not, I, I'm guessing she's going to be a $13 shirt, even though she has the tag on this is Lou and gray 
by loft this i don't this is not even a thing anymore they don't sell this anymore she's a size large i've only experimented with blue and gray maybe three times and i i did not have a successful result any of those times a blue and gray the few items that i have posted they never sell for me however this one is a sweater this one is a size large so we're loving the size and of course we're loving that tag on there retail value 80 bucks it doesn't matter what the retail value is and this is something that you really need to know if you're a reseller if you're just getting into the game if you're starting with your own items i hate to say it this way but nobody gives a shit what you paid for your stuff nobody cares they don't care what the retail value was they don't care about your sentimental attachment to items people want to deal so if you want top dollar for your items your best bet is to take it to like a consignment shop a boutique um a private seller somebody who is going to get you the best price for your your items um yeah so people don't care so even though this is an 80 dollar sweater it doesn't mean anything i pr probably will get 15 or 20 bucks for this okay i'm gonna save that for last because that's a cute one i'm saving the best stuff for last so hang around a little bit and we shall see now this next bag i'm lying i'm lying i'm lying this one i think i got this from that yard sale as well why what is this oh, for god's sake okay <laughs> i y'all <laughs> i'm gonna call this a blackout buy i feel like one of my other uh somebody i watch calls these blackout buys when you buy stuff and you bring it home you're like why why did i pick it up this is art class it's a girl's extra large she does have a tag on her, a brand new tag here. Now, a few years ago, I was very much into children's clothes and I used to do pretty well selling on like Marketplace and selling on my own personal page. That kind of changed. It's really hard to sell children's clothes. I did just the other day though, I sold surprisingly a lot of boys, boys like size 10, little, little boy size 10, button up long sleeve shirts it was a lot of them it was like seven or eight of them children's plays just basic brands um gap and i had those posted probably for two years on poshmark and ebay and surprisingly it sold the other day i guess because we're going into back to school season overall all said selling children's clothes is extremely difficult for me i know some people have luck with it um really hard so i was really surprised that i sold that lot of kids clothes this however would be great for back to school i do have i still do have some children's clothes left over i'm gonna go in the basement and try to find other things that i can lock this up with because this would be great for back to school if you're gonna do kids clothes i'm not the expert so take my advice with a grain of salt if you're gonna do it you're probably gonna have to sell it in lots I, me trying to sell just this one dress by itself i'll be lucky if i get five bucks for it and that's just not worth my time um so then i after that i did go to a um the church that i was telling you about where i used to get a lot of nice stuff from and they're just i don't know what's going on they were giving away free clothes today so that may have been why it was so busy and that may have been why i didn't really find anything i did find these though this brand is sundance I looked at them. I wasn't familiar with the brand, but there was, it was something about the look of them. At first I thought they were linen and I, I, I tend to, I don't really get pants at all. If they aren't new with tags, I, I have a hard time selling pants. Um, so this is, these are 100% cotton. Oh, there's a spot. Is that a spot on the bottom? It's probably a spot size medium, hundred percent cotton. And like I said, I normally do not comp things out when I'm paying a dollar, but I was like, I wasn't, I was on the fence about these. I did pick it up. Comps are all over the place, but some of their cotton pants like this, um, are going for like 30 bucks. So we'll see. We'll see. That was just testing that out. I paid two bucks for that and taylor it's a hard sell but she is cute she she's not an outlet piece she's not loft she is Ann taylor she's a medium and she is in pristine condition she has that cute little collar size medium just a basic blouse 
13 bucks probably. She does feel like she's new with tags. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I very rarely will post anything as new with tags because if you don't know for sure if it's new with tags, you really shouldn't do that in my opinion. Um, you're just opening yourself up for a case. People have sold me items in the past because I'm also a, a, a buyer. I buy things used secondhand. And I mean, the amount of people who, who post items as new without tags, because I deal with so many clothes, because I've been doing this for 15 years, I know when something is not new without tags, okay? It's something about the smell of it. It's something about the look. I, I can pick up on the tiniest little crease that would indicate that it has been worn. Um, so just because something looks like this, it looks like it's new with tags, I very rarely will list anything as new without tags. And what I'm going, this one I may, this one, this will be a very rare exception where I will probably post this as new without tags. Why? It still smells like the store. Does the average consumer know that? I don't know. I know that this smells like the store. Um, this is a white blouse. There is zero, zero indicator that this has been worn. The neck is pristine. I Look at the underarms, you guys, when you're out. People leave deodorant stains and God knows what else. Underneath here, there's nothing that would indicate at all that this has ever been worn. So there's a slight possibility that I will list this as new without tags. But knowing me, I'll probably just put it as used and then um, I will explain in the comments description that it looks new without tags this is additions by chico's now i was very confused in the store because i'm like is this a maternity brand i know that additions is not a thing anymore like chico's does not have the um additions line anymore i i kind of felt like like is this a maternity shirt because if not i'm gonna be really annoyed um, i paid two dollars for it she is slinky so i don't know if this was their maternity line or if this is what they were doing prior to their travelers line because this has that same slinky slinky travel feel that their travelers line does but it's not acetate so it is polyester but it is definitely slinky and when i sell stuff like this i am definitely going to put in the description that it is slinky you tie it in the front this is like a slinky type thing so 15 bucks it reminds me of Travelers. I'm hoping that it's not maternity. I also got this from the church sale. So altogether, I purchased four items from the church. I drove 25 minutes there. In lieu of going to more yard sales, I was like, uh, which one do I have a better chance of finding stuff at? I decided I opted for the thrift store and I crapped out because I only got four items. This is a Jones, New York, 100% linen, but in front blouse paid two dollars for her neckline is all sorts of dirty so i'm gonna have to treat that i will treat a neckline i generally i don't if something has a flaw nine times out of ten i'm not gonna get it my items are already just priced too low they're already bread and butter items i'm not getting a lot of money for them so i'm not gonna spend my i'm not gonna spend an hour of my life getting out of stain just so i can get two extra dollars i'm not doing it do what works for you um, now they were giving away free clothes. They were supposed to be giving away free summer clothes and they had a few racks and some of the items on there were not summer items. I don't know if people put this stuff on the racks by mistake, but I grabbed it and, um, I'm glad I did. This is just a basic loft white tank top. I'm keeping this for me. It was free. They had a free rack there. Um, I did get these Columbia shorts. These are men's. I don't have a lot of luck with Columbia. I currently have two, two or three Columbia items listed in my store that have sat and sat and sat for a long time. But I did sell a Columbia pair of pants recently and I sold them fast. So when it comes to Columbia sportswear, I would personally suggest that you comp that out because Columbia is one of those things where it's all over the place. It is hit or miss. So you're going to definitely, if you're picking up this brand right here, you're definitely going to want to comp it out and, and see exactly what you're getting. These were free, so I didn't care. Um, they're just like men's shorts. Can't go wrong with free. I got a basic black shirt, but that that's probably for me. And I did, this was on the rack. They said it was summer items, but this was on the rack. And so I grabbed it. I mean, I drove all the way there and only picked up four items. So you better believe <laughs> that I did pick this up when it was on the free rack, even if somebody did put it there by mistake. Now, this actually is Chico's Traveler's brand. 
It is a size zero, real small size. It's like a four six, but it's the Traveler's brand and I have had luck with Traveler's brand in the past. So I can probably get $15 for that. Okay, we are at the tail end. Even though it was just a few items, I feel this is this was probably all together about 30 items. Um, I do want to show you all these. I did get this from the first yard sale where all of the clothes were $2. $1. These boots were these boots were $2 though. Y'all, y'all know how I feel. If you've watched any of my videos, I absolutely love embroidery. This is a basic black booty. It has the embroidery. And I'm gonna call this, they look new. They look new. They haven't been worn at all. Size seven. And this brand, is it leather? Oh, hold up, hold up now. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm very confused. Huh. Okay, let's pause real quick. They are in a box, but it's not the right box. This is a Life Stride box, and these are not Life Stride boots. Kind of smells like leather. I'm going to be stoked if these are suede. I just got them for the style. Now, and I am a glutton for punishment because you have to understand, I do have, I think, probably three boots that are very similar in style, different brands. I have a few black boots with embroidery listed in my store. They've been listed for a while. They haven't had much interest. So apparently black boots with embroidery is not a hot item, but I still love it. I love it. And for $2, I definitely picked her up. Um, and the brand is Callisto of California. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. Callisto of California. Um, the bottom says size seven. There is no indicator of the material content in here. Um, but I think I do know enough about clothes and shoes to say that based on the smell of it, I'm definitely getting a leather smell from this. So I'm going to have to do more research. I'm just going to look up boots like this and see what it says. Very interesting. If these are, I mean, I picked them up because they were cute and I said I'll probably get 15 or 20 bucks. If they're leather, that might change things a little bit. But like I said, it's not like embroidered boots are like a hot item. People aren't going to run to your store. They're not going to be fighting over these things. But they're cute. Sometimes I just get stuff because it's cute. I did get these. I got this from the very first yard sale that I went to. This is the only thing that I purchased from them. These are a pair of black boots. I could immediately tell that these were leather. Um, as soon as I saw them, they have the studs. They're a pointy toe. It has the studs here. They are a good size, which is a um, nine and a half, something like that. Genuine leather upper. Excellent condition. I always, you, you definitely want to test your zippers and what have you. Uh, she told me to name a price. I hate when people do that. I, like, I'm not in a game show. I'm not, I'm, this is not a game show. I don't want to guess prices. Just tell me what you want for your stuff. Okay. Um, but I said, are you sure? Are you positive that you want me to name a price? And she said, yeah, I'm not going to get offended. Okay, fine. I said, well, I don't want to offend you. I said, I'll give you $3 for them, which was being generous because y'all know I really wanted to give her a dollar, right? But I said, don't be like that. Don't be like that girl. So I offered her $3 and she's like, well, how about $4? Okay, lady, I'll give you $4. Like, come on, stop playing. Like, I don't like playing these games. Um, they are a size nine tiny little flaw right here and by the time you see this video these will already be listed now the brand i don't know if you've ever heard of this brand but i am definitely feeling like i have heard this brand from other resellers oh you can't see it you're not gonna be able to see it the brand is called treasure and bond treasure and bond treasure and bond um i did not comp these out I do know enough after 15 years of selling to know that a black leather boot is a staple, that fall is coming, winter will be here any minute, nine and a half is a good size, so I didn't comp them out. Um, Treasure and Bond, I, I know that I've heard this. I know I knew I was going to buy them before I even looked at the brand just because of the style, their leather boots, it's about to be fall, and not, they're a size nine and a half, so I was getting these anyway, but then after I like took a closer look, um, I saw that they were treasure and bond. So I have to do more research on this. I, I feel like this is a good brand, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, two more items. And then we're going to talk a little bit if you want to hang around and we'll talk about sales and how things are going. 
let's talk about that these last two items i think that these were my best finds of the day the first one I paid a dollar for at the first yard sale where the lady wanted a dollar for everything. That first yard sale I, it gave me nostalgia. It reminded me of yard sales of times past um, <laughs> because she had decent stuff, clothes, and they were a dollar. Everything's a dollar. And she wasn't one of those people that when she saw a tag, she's like, oh, no, that one is five dollars. Everything was a dollar. She didn't care if it had the tags on it. And I was like, finally, <laughs> I finally found a yard sale like this. It's been a minute. I did find this there. As soon as I saw the print, I was like, it has to be. It has to be. Y'all know what this is, right? If you've been selling for a while, take a guess before I show you the tag. Do you know who this is? Of course you do. This is Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer. Now, don't know too much about Lily. What I do know is that you can't really go wrong with Lily Pulitzer. Things with her, they are a hit or miss. It really depends on the style. It really depends on the item. But what I do know for a fact is that you cannot go wrong paying a dollar for Lily Pulitzer. And we're going to talk about Lily Pulitzer in just a minute when we start talking about sales. So this, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a dress. I don't know if it's a cover-up. Pretty 99% sure that it is a regular dress. She's cotton. Oh, they're flamingos. Oh, oh look how cute. Y'all... If you know me, you know that I love the embroidery. Anything with like embroidery or crochet, I'm probably going to buy it from my store. But I am also a huge novelty lover. So anything with like animal prints, cats, cows, whatever, I'm a fan. Y'all, I did not even know that that was a flamingo. Look at that. How cute is that? You probably can't see it. So I was very excited about this. And she's like an extra large, I think. Hello? <laughs> yes, please. I'm going to have to look her up. This could be anything from a $15 item all the way up to a $60 item. I really don't know. I'm just excited about her. I don't think she's vintage, though. Oh, she's not cotton. She's rayon. Ew. Mm. Okay, whatever. Um, so very excited about that. And I did get this from another yard sale. I was very excited about this as well. This is Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines is, again, a better brand, but... Vineyard Vines is one of those things that is going to be hit or miss. She's one of those ones that you definitely want to comp it out. I didn't comp this one out. So I'm the pot calling the kettle black. I'm telling you to do something that I didn't do. She's Vineyard Vines. Hydrangea. Hydrangea block ruffle dress. She is an extra small. That's going to be a hard sell. But she was new with tags and I only paid. Uh-uh. She smells like perfume. Oh, no, she doesn't. Um, Extra small basic dress. I don't sell a lot of this because I don't find a lot of this. Vineyard Vines is one of those things that I just don't find it in my area very much. So to pay $3 for this new with tags, I was very excited. I just sold a, I did sell a white Vineyard Vines dress and it was a small size. She was like a size four or each. She might've even been a two. I sold that at the beginning of summer for around $20. So I'm banking on $25 for that. How have sales been going? If you don't care, then I will talk to you on the next video, but don't forget to hit that subscribe on the way out. I'm at the end of August. Sales the past two weeks have been pitiful. Um, I'm sure you're not surprised because if you watch other YouTubers, then you already know. Hopefully by the time this video comes out at probably the middle to end of September, my sales will be much better by then, but we are in the tail end of August and I am definitely feeling the summer slowdown. Um, am I annoyed? Mm, yeah. Um, did I expect it? Mm, yeah, because it happens every year. Uh, uh, am I giving up, throwing in the towel, saying that I'm quitting? No, of course not. I've been doing this for 15 years. I've, I've rode every wave that came along, and I don't have any intentions on stopping now. Uh, what I do hope um, is that things will turn around within the next week. I am currently only selling about one item a day. And this is where I want to talk about your strategy when you're doing bread and butter to, um, or maybe I should just do a whole different video. Should I do a whole different video? I don't know. Hopefully you guys will hang on till the very end. It, this is getting lengthy, but I don't know. Um, if you're buying items for a dollar, you have to be careful because what happens is you're going to end up like me. You're going to end up giving away $200 to $400 worth of items after you have held on to this stuff for two years. So if you're like me where you have difficulty finding better brands or really in demand items, then you have to you have to make lemonade with the lemons that you have. But don't get carried away. 
because what happens with me personally is that when I start running low on inventory, I start to panic and I start going out and buying whatever I can get with a dollar. This is a horrible business strategy. I don't know why I keep doing it. I'm trying to get away from that. Um, I have gotten better at picking better brands and better items. I have gotten better at not picking up everything that's a dollar, but I do panic sometimes when I can't find stuff. Because I've gotten better at finding better items and I'm not afraid to spend more money on better items when I see them, that has carried me through this hard, slow time. Because even though I am down, on average, I sell about three items a day, two to three items a day, I am selling probably one item a day now. But lucky for me, the few items that have been selling have been higher end not all of them, but I have sold some of my higher priced items. I sold a Lily Pulitzer vintage dress, had her listed for about five months. She was a smaller size. I just sold her for around 70 bucks. She was the only sale that I made that day, but believe me, I was happy to sell a $70 item. I just sold a Ralph Lauren men's button down. I think it was like a vintage, 100% linen. It was white. I just sold that for $40. I kind of stole that one from my husband's closet. <laughs> Don't tell him. Um, just sold that for $40. So when I'm normally selling $13 items, selling a $40 items is very helpful. You have to be super careful. Again, we're at the tail end of August. Winter is going to be coming. If you have followed me, you know that I live on the East Coast and that yard sale season will be coming to an end shortly. So I am finding myself in a situation where I am panicking and trying to buy as much as I can, but I'm not getting overly crazy with it. I'm like a squirrel trying to gather all their nuts for winter. Um, if you are in the same position, I just caution you to be super careful. As much as you want inventory, please be mindful of what you are picking up. If, like I said, I've been doing this for 15 years, so I kind of know what's going to sell and what's not going to sell. Or maybe I don't if I'm giving away $400 worth of stuff, but I have gotten better at it, so I don't have to comp everything out. If you are in doubt, then please do comp these items out. Because even though you're paying a dollar, if you pay a dollar for 10 items and you don't sell any of those 10 items, then you have lost $10 or $200 like me. So the stuff that I'm showing you, I feel like I'm getting better. I feel like I'm picking up things that have a higher sell through rate. They're going to sell a little bit faster, but it is not uncommon for me. I have held on to things for two years before. I feel like because I'm getting better at choosing items, they're starting to sell a little quicker. So most of these items that I'm starting to buy are selling within six months. It's still a long amount of time, but when you're doing bread and butter, I don't think it's that bad. I would love to sell things within a week. It just doesn't happen for me. I don't have those sorts of items that people want, but don't get discouraged if you are in that situation. These items are still paying my bills. These items are still putting food in my stomach. So you just keep going. Um, keep listing. If your sales are down, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. If you throw in the towel every time something doesn't go your way, you're never going to get what you want. So just keep pushing. Things will be turning around soon and I wish you a lot of luck. Make sure that you hit that subscribe and share with your friends. Don't be that way. You know you should be sharing this video. Come on now. I thought we were friends. Do that for me and I'll see y'all next time.